Hey y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting pretty excited about this QTM thing, quality turkey management. Got it for deer. It worked. We got more trophy bucks walking around Georgia now than we ever had in the 90s. So why can't we do the same thing for turkeys? So ride with us today. We're going to take a look around at some examples of what is pretty good nesting habitat. At least it was for this year because we had about three separate hens have poults, raise them, and they should be now. They're getting about the size of like little chickens. That's big enough to perch. So hopefully, hopefully, better yet, not fingers crossed, hands together. Thank you, Lord. Ride with us. We're going to talk about nesting habitat. Remember, our first two goals, poult recruitment, poult survival. All right, so let's talk about nesting habitat for a sec. All right, nesting habitat is kind of like Goldilocks and the three bears. When we get down at a pulse eye view, too thick. See how thick that stuff is? If I had burned it, this would be thinned out. You'd have early successional growth and we'd have better nesting habitat. But could they do it here? Yeah, but it's kind of marginal, a little too thick. Let's look where I've never burned. All right, on this side, we've got open pines that need to be thin, slash pines, but as you can see, straw litter all over the ground. There's nothing there really for a turkey to nest in, and there's certainly nothing there for poults to bug in. Okay, so on this nesting thing, we got too thick. We got too thin. Okay, now let's look at some habitat that is very, very good for nesting. We got a nice pine structure there where I dropped those pines. I just left them. It's ugly. Your wife's going to complain about it. But for my turkey, that's a very safe, protected roof site. I've got, I burned this field. As you can see, this grass is thick enough but thin enough. Now, this is what Goldilocks was talking about. This is just right. Notice we got bare dirt in there for chicks to move around. Try to get you up higher so you can see it. See that bare dirt? You want about 50% of your nesting, pole rearing habitat to be bare ground. All right, that allows chicks to move around, bugs flourish. Got an old blackberry right there. Got some nice soft mass coming in. And guess what? We had a hen roost here this spring. I'll take you where we had another hen roost. Now, check this out. This isn't something we did, it's something we didn't do. See, we got these pines. And then we've got a soft edge all the way down this food plot. That allows for the hen to nest. Then we've got nice open food plot, grown up food plot, but food plot where they can come out and bug with the poles. So it's not what we did, it's not what we planted, it's what we didn't do. And what we didn't do is come right up to the edge of those pines. If we come all the way to the edge with a hard edge, that discourages nesting. We don't want to do that. We want to encourage it everywhere we can. So let's leave our soft edges. This is why this area, good nesting, good brooding habitat. So you can bring them out, let them feed, they're protected as much as we can be these days, and they've got good thick cover on the side to escape to if something threatens them. Nest, food, escape. Pretty good triangle. I know we've been looking at those nesting spots and brooding spots, but I'm going to tell you why that's so important and why we got it as number two. A friend of mine went to a turkey lecture the other day. He came back with this, which I believe to be true, and I've said the same thing. That chick mortality rate, little poults, when they're on the ground during that critical like month of being on the ground, mortality rates over 70%. But, 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 once they are able to get up and perch on a tree, reverses itself. They have a 70% survival rate. So what we have to really focus on in QTM 
is getting the birds a safe place to nest where the nest isn't destroyed, a good place for them to eat. Then, once they can get perching on a limb, hey, 70% survival rate goes up. That's good in my book. This year, when it gets that time, the dormant season, less harrow. The more we harrow, the more you're increasing beneficial. You don't even have to plant anything. Just winter disc it. All right? Winter disc some openings. That gives perfect nesting cover. Burn. But when you burn, biologists told me years ago, work in thirds. Have a third of a field or an opening, then next year the next third, next year the next third. If we do it in thirds, that leaves just the right nesting, brooding habitat as you work your way across the opening. You'll have hard, you'll have soft, and at the end, you'll have the just right. Thanks for watching. Let's increase poult survival. Let's practice QDM. Like us, subscribe to us. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck. God bless.